Hello, I'm Quinton. Today, me and my groupmate Samuel will talk about the first three movements of Night Pieces. This piece was composed by Australian composer Peter Scalford. The first three movements of Night Pieces are named as Snow, Moon, and Flowers, respectively. According to the composer, these three movements were composed under the Japanese concept Setsugeka. This concept literally means snow, moon, and flowers. It depicts the possible metamorphosis of the three objects to become one another, expressing their interrelatedness. The composer and said he has manifested this concept by using similar music elements in three movements. Yet, these elements are being transformed in different movements. In our presentation, we will focus on identifying these shared music elements within these three movements, as well as their respective metamorphosis and applications. We believe that there are two prominent music ideas that link these three movements together. Firstly, the usage of set 0145, and secondly, the usage of the pentatonic scales. The properties of these two ideas resonate with the two core scales in traditional Japanese music, the in and yo scale. The in scale contains two 01 diets, which is the same with the set 0145. On the other hand, yo scales is the minor mode of the pentatonic scale we know. It is evident that these two prominent music ideas in this piece are related to the in and yo scales of Japanese music, which might be a reflection of Sergei Japanese origin. Now, let's look into the score and see how the composer exploited these two musical ideas. First, we shall focus on the application of 0145 in the first movement now. It is introduced note by note in the beginning measures. First, A flat, B, G, A higher B, and back to C. Let's listen to the excerpt. <laughs> This figure is repeated with Himiola against the free four meter with slight variation, which is a written out fermata on the note B4. Moreover, the five initial notes, which is circled on the score, appear as a drawn up tenuto chain which spans over six measure. Then the 0145 was scattered, appearing in the later as a subset 01. Please be noted that the occurrence of a 01 diet is always after the pitch G. Such usage of 01 after a specific pitch is also found in the following two movements, which can be interpreted as a factor that enhances the cohesion between these movements. In general, 0145 is presented as a drawn out form, as well as in a scattered 01 subset in the following of in the movement of snow. Concerning the usage of 0145 in the second movement, Moon, it also gains appearance in an open measure. However, it was presented as two consecutive major seven, A flat, G, and E, E flat. Let's have a listen. Such figuration is repeated and further combined with some free composing elements before it's compressed into a 0134 chord in middle of the piece, highlighted in purple, which gives hints for the material of the next movement. However, it was soon replaced by the opening figure. In general, the complete 0145 is presented in the second movement as an expanded major 7 form, which has a greater registral span than this counterpart, than its counterparts in the previous movement of snow. Concerning the usage of 0145 in the third movement flowers, the traits of 0145 are not as apparent. The opening measures presents 0134 A flat A B C instead of 0145. However, 0134 can be viewed as a compressed 0145. Let's have a listen. At this point, some might suggest at first glance that 0145 is absent in this movement. However, upon close inspection, the 0145 can be found as two pairs of overlayered 01 dias embedded in the tenuto line. The first pair being G and A flat, and the second pair is E flat and E. Such usage of 01 dias echoes the snow movement. The only difference is that those two dias are overlaid instead of being scattered in the context. 
Gracias por estar. In general, the 0145 is presented as a compressor 0134 form, as well as two overlayered 01 subsets. After looking at the usage of 0145, we shall move on and discuss how pentatonic elements are employed in the score. The pentatonic elements, unlike 0145, do not undergo much metamorphosis. However, the role those pentatonic elements are playing in these three movements are drastically different. Therefore, our focus will shift to discussing the role of pentatonic elements in this three movement. In the movement though, pentatonic elements appear in the middle section, where pitches of A-flat pentatonic scale are scattered in a random manner and only span two measures amid the C of 0145 repetition. Let's have a listen. In terms of duration, it does not suggest a large proportional importance. However, it does signify the start of pentatonic development in these three movements. In the movement mode, pentatonic elements plays a more important role. In bar five, D flat and A pentatonic scale pitches are presented. The D flat pentatonic content is presented as an upper oscillating line and the A pentatonic is packed as two consecutive chords in lower voice and the arpeggiated figure. The upper D flat pentatonic pitches are even partially combined with 0145, which is highlighted in blue. Let's have a listen. This demonstrates the interactive possibilities among different music components. Moreover, all C flat pentatonic scale pitches are stacked up to conclude this movement. Let's have a listen. In general, pentatonic elements in this movement are much more than serving a version function. It is also the opportunity to interact with the 0145 and contributes to the conclusion which is of structural importance. In the final movement, Flowers, pentatonic elements have been, has, have been given the most important among three movements. The recurring arpeggiated motif, which suggests the pitches from the D-flat pentatonic scale, of course, after the compressed 0145, which is 0134. Such usage significantly counterbalanced the importance of 0145. At last, pentatonic pitches are used to conclude this movement. But unlike Moon, there are more than one pentatonic scale applied to the ending, those contributing to the C flat and G flat pentatonic collection. To conclude our analysis, the composer's brilliant use of two musical ideas opened up a wide range of possibilities. This 0145 is scattered, overlayered, compressed, and drawn up, etc. On the other hand, pentatonic elements are molded into different figurations like chords and arpeggiated blocks. Apart from changing the form of the ideas, the composer also fuses them together and changes their importance in different movements making the pentatonic scales more and more important towards the end of the piece. The astounding application of these musical ideas not only manifested the idea of Sugetka, as the composer had mentioned, but also reminded us that the only limitation to creating new possibilities in music is perhaps our own imagination. This is the end of our presentation, and thank you for listening.